What's up guys, CJ here, and today we've got an interesting tidbit for you from the galaxy far, far away. The plot for Star Wars Episode Nine is still shrouded in mystery and tightly kept under wraps. I mean, who knows if the script is even completed at this point, but with filming set to begin in just a couple of months, we might have finally learned the overarching story of the movie thanks to a new leak. As with every leak we report on, take this with many, many grains of salt for a couple of reasons. First, this far out, nothing is set in stone and certain, and second, more often than not, these do turn out to be bogus despite some of them being accurate over the years. So why believe this one? Well, the leaker in question has a pretty uncanny track record. Last year he posted an episode 8 leak to Reddit that accurately predicted the death of Snoke at the hands of Kylo Ren and correctly called that Luke in the film would be bitter and have cut himself off from the Force. Additionally, there's also some speculation that the storyboard from which this alleged leak arises might have actually come from the Colin Trevorrow era before he departed the film and therefore would have changed significantly since because, of course, Leia has a major role in this version of the film, which we know is not going to be the case in the final product. With that in mind and maybe a little more confident about what you're going to hear, let's dive right in. The leak confirms that Episode 9 will, as has been rumored for a few weeks now, open with a time jump, and in fact it takes place five years after the events of The Last Jedi, which of course took place just minutes after The Force Awakens. In the years since, Kylo Ren is now the public face of the First Order, and its supreme leader. Surprisingly, this transition and the years, you know, in between the movies have led to public opinion shifting massively and favoring the First Order, with the vast majority of the galaxy actually seeing Kylo's rule as benevolent. I mean, even some of the Resistance question why they're still fighting. But the Resistance remains, and the core group of Poe, Finn, Rey, and yes, Leia still fights as they know and firmly believe that the First Order isn't what it seems. End of this confusing time, the Resistance is contacted by a mole who claims to have information that will expose the First Order. That secret is that the First Order is in control of an underwater manufacturing complex on a planet in the Unknown Regions, which is being manned by slaves from planets the First Order has conquered across the galaxy, something that the larger galaxy actually doesn't know about. But just who is this mole? Well, maybe unsurprisingly, he's revealed to be none other than General Hux, who's hoping that the revelation is going to allow him to usurp the throne and finally bring down his longtime rival Kylo. The revelation about the true nature of the First Order ultimately culminates in a galactic showdown between the planets still loyal to them and the Resistance with the help of the Outer Rim and Unknown Regions, who have finally decided to step up against the First Order's secret tyranny. But in the Jedi-centric side of the story, we learn that in the years since The Last Jedi, Rey has founded her own Jedi Order, made up of Force-sensitive people from across the galaxy who sought her out for training and to hide from the Knights of Ren, who are hunting Force users down. Rey and Kylo still have the telepathic connection that Snoke created between them, strengthened as the two have gotten stronger in the Force in the time that's passed. The tension between them hasn't lessened since The Last Jedi, and it's actually said in the storyboard that the two definitely have feelings for each other. But the big twist of the movie is that one of Rey's students is actually her son, a revelation which makes Kylo so furious he actually nearly kills her, only to be stopped by Leia. It isn't revealed who, who the father actually is, but Kylo's reaction makes it seem like it's definitely not him. And that's where the leak ends, so it's really more of a plot overview than a breakdown of the entire thing. There's no ending given away. Again, likely this is an older script, either from the Trevorrow era or just after Abrams took over from him, and this really highlights the dilemma they're in with Leia, as she definitely did play a sizable part in this version of the film. For more details, check out the link in the description below. Let me know what you think of the leak, and, you know, if you would be fine with the direction they're going in Episode 9. I, I'm kind of curious as to how the First Order is Good Guys thing is going to play. I mean, it kind of feels like we're doing that a lot. It's like, no one really knows the First Order is bad. It's like, well, there, you know, there should be people that remember, you know? That's going to do it for me here, though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. For even more content, check out our website at hybridnetworkyt.com, but if you love HN and want to take your support to the next level, consider donating to us on Patreon as we strive to bring you the best content possible. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.